Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be looking at the weekly energy um, from the 17th to the 24th, kicking off with the full moon in Cancer, aka the wolf moon. It's a really, um, I'm actually filming this on the full moon in Cancer, this beautiful wolf moon. You know, it's a really interesting, um, very unique vibe. It feels a bit like if we practice discernment around this moon, especially this week, because I feel like we're going to be, we've also just entered into Mercury and retrograde. So I, I feel like I want to offer you the image <laughs> of standing at the edge of a very still lake, right? And sort of coming from this place of whatever we do, whatever words we use, whatever actions we take, whatever thoughts we think, whatever our habits are, Anything and everything that we do, right, is going to have a ripple effect on this very still lake. And so it's about choosing those stones that we fire off into this lake uh, with deliberation and consideration, right? So it just feels like our actions, our words, uh, all of us, all the energy that we embody, activate, give off is going to have ripple effects Um that will affect more than just ourselves or even our direct, you know, adjacent relationships and situations. It feels like it's going to have more far reaching effects. Now that could mean that what we do this week, what we think this week, whatever we are this week is going to come back later, perhaps after the retrograde in some way, shape or form. Um, or it could mean that it's, it's just going to, it's like, wow, I, I, I said that or I chose to do that and now it's it's really, um, I'm seeing the effects or the consequences of that long after something that seemed maybe small at the time. So it's interesting. Also when we consider water, how things appear in the reflection of water is a distorted image. So I feel like that's coming through as well. So let's see what the energy is for this week. What's going on? Oh, well, indeed, and there it is. <laughs> now this is fascinating so we have we have two of cups here and we are under the sea <laughs> this is very fascinating here um you know with this energy with the two of cups energy we're back to this you know aspect of the water right this energy traditionally speaking is about well it's about more than one thing but it's really about inner and outer harmony and how that affects our relationships our interpersonal relationships, really. Um, this can also extend to the work that we do, that we really love to do, um, platonic relationships that really fill our hearts and are, are very important to us. But traditionally speaking, this is about the romantic relationships that we have and about the relationship we have with ourselves. that, like I said, affects our romantic relationships or just our interpersonal relationships, right? So it's really interesting that this is coming up. Uh, given that I was seeing this image of a still lake and then we have this, you know, full moon in Cancer. And I want to talk about that briefly because, you know, full moon in Cancer, right? That That's the sign of the crab, right? And then we have this, I think this is like, I believe this is a lobster technically or a crab. No, it's a hermit crab, isn't it? So interesting that we're getting the crab on the Cancer full moon. So when I think about that energy, we know Cancerian energy to be that of the home and the hearth, right? But it's a very emotionally charged energy. Cancerians, for the most part, um, if their relationships, right, if something is skew in their relationships, if, if they're at, you know, uh, having discord with a family member or a loved one or something with their relationships is off kilter, the rest of their world is not right, right? There are some signs or some people, right? Who, if everything is going well at work, but the relationships aren't, aren't going so great, it's all right. They can still sleep at night and they'll get to it. You know what I mean? But I feel like the archetype of the Cancerian, right? And I say archetype because, you know, results may vary by individual, of course, but for the most part, the, the Cancer sign is really about the relationships. And if the relationships, if something is off in that context, then the rest of the world is filtered through that lens of something's not quite right. So within that, I feel like this is saying, you know, 
this week especially, your relationships will be at the forefront, but I feel like there's also a dual aspect of the relationship that you have with yourself, right? And everything that you do affecting those around you in some way, shape, or form. And I do feel like some of those effects are going to be long-term or not immediately noticeable. If you think about a still lake, you can't necessarily see what's going on beneath it. You, you know there's all kind of life swimming around in there. There could be some old boots in there. There could be, you know, <laughs> this, that, and the other sitting at the bottom of a very still lake. But you don't necessarily see it. So I feel like that's that's coming back around to this theme here. So let's go ahead and get the advice. It's really fascinating, though, with the Two of Cups, given the energy of this week and the sign of Cancer. <laughs> right. So... <laughs> the advice here for the collective is the hanged man. Really, really fascinating here. So hanged man is about flip perspective, right? But to assume the hanged man position, as I like to say, and it is about assuming the hanged man position. It's about taking the time to just take a beat or several beats to go, okay, let me just think about this. <laughs> let me think about this before I do it. Let me look at this situation or my options or wherever this may be from another point of view. I feel like because this is coming up with the Two of Cups as the collective energy, this hanged man could be about, let me think about this from another person's point of view. Let me put myself in their shell or shoes, <laughs> as it were, right? So it's interesting. It's about how we see things and allowing ourselves to broaden our perspective. It's kind of like a Gemini energy in that way as well with, with, you know, Geminis are able to see both sides of something, which can be work for them or against them, depending on the situation and or the Gemini. Um, but this with the hanged man, I feel like this is largely about flipping our perspective and allowing ourselves to see it from another angle or another person's point of view or perspective. Now also the hanged man is very, which is really interesting with that influence of Mercury retrograde where everything goes in reverse and things are a bit different, right? During that transit. So it's interesting with this as well about the flip perspective, seeing something differently, right? You know, also the hanged man is very much about allowing ourselves to live in the questions. It's just, this is, I let me tell you something. I'm an Aquarius, so uh, we are not known for being wonderful at living in the questions. We like information. We like things incredibly clear. <laughs> we don't like a lot of room for ambiguity, okay? We're, we're it, it makes us a bit, um, you know, contradictory in a, in a really, you know, sweet, lovable way where we, we love to, you know, be open to a lot of different possibilities, but at the same time, we, we like answers. So there's an aspect of this as well that says, okay, we can embrace the unknown. We can live in the question. And living in the question sometimes also, going back to this theme, can have more far-reaching effects that we can't necessarily see in the moment. It's like we make a choice to, to not push for the answers around something or not push for a commitment or not push for one way or the other and just allow ourselves to go. If it's, if it's not coming easily at this time, whether that's an answer um, a decision, a contract, a choice, whatever this is, the, whatever it is, right? Then sometimes that's a sign to go, it's not immediately accessible to me for a greater reason. So I'm just going to roll back for a second. I'm going to assume the hangman position and just live in that question for now. Again, I'm seeing the choices that you do or don't make this week have more long-term effects and consequences that you can't necessarily see. So I feel like the key word around this is discernment, awareness, and timing. Discernment, awareness, and timing for this week to set you up in some way <laughs> moving forward here into the long term. So with that being said, the energy is, uh, you know, very interesting this week, but I do feel like it's a beautiful, you know, opportunity to, um, you know, embrace the questions reach a form of enlightenment and acceptance with the questions that we have the opportunity to live in this week and the unknown on a broader scale. So with that being said, I'm wishing you guys a beautiful, blessed week, a very, very happy and abundant full moon in Cancer, and I will be seeing you guys soon. Most of all, and as always, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for being you, and be well. Until next time.